in the previous video we talked about page stage now in this video we will talk about input parameter it means how to pass value from one page to another page how to take input from another page so here you can see we have two pages one that is main page another page that I have just changed the name as a add this is the sub page that is add and now I have this process this is for the addition in which I have taken three data items one for the number one value number two value and add and then here I have taken calculation where I am performing the calculation number one plus number two and storing in add now currently in this data item we are passing initial value right now let me just run this if you want to run this from here directly from here you need to set this next stage so that you can run this one if you will directly run this if you will directly click on go it will start running from the main page right. now let me click on a step into and here it will take value from this data items this initial values and then it will add and store in this add data item now you can see here 12 plus 10 equal to 22 now my requirement is is I don't want to pass default value here in this add page I want to take input from any other page it means I want to take value from main page so if I will delete this so currently I don't have any value in this so I want to take value from main page so to take value from main page you have to first design your this page this workflow in such a way so that it can accept input from main page so how can you take input from any other pages we have a start this is the start stage here double click on that and you can see there is an input inputs tab in this section we can add those parameters input parameters that is also called startup parameters so we can pass here and then it will take value from any other pages where we will call this page here you can see I want these two values sometimes what happens we are working on any windows application or web application and in that scenario we have a steps where we will go to that website will extract the specific data from there will store into our data item and then da that data item that data will be used in any other calculation in, in any other pages right so in that scenario we cannot pass default value will take this value from website on runtime and the data item will be updated with value on runtime so in the startup where we need this value so we'll take two parameters one for the number and second for number two so let me write here number one and description enter number one value data type so what types of data what types of value you want to take from any other page so I want to take number so I will pass here number now here we need to also take one data item so that we can store whatever value will receive from the other page so we'll take here already that we have the existing data item number one now we have number two and we'll write enter number two value here we'll write number and then whatever value I will take from this number two I will store in the this number two it means in this one and this number is showing on your add page in your current page now press ok so here we have designed our workflow this page so that it can accept now we have to also do something so that we can pass that value inside this one so for that we have to go to the main page I'm not saying that you can only pass value from the main page you can pass value from any other sub pages also 
so in that scenario that sub page will sub page will be the main page for this child page so currently i have main page and this one sub page so to pass value we have to use this page because we are going to call that page here and without calling here we cannot pass that value so i will take this page stage and click on this first one because we are going to create a reference to an existing page now click next and here we have this existing page that is add so now click on add so once you'll select this add we have created reference here now let me first delete this and let me link with this now double click on this page stage and here you can see it is automatically showing us that number one and number two why it is showing because this is the reference of page add page and in the add page we have set that we need a parameter we need two parameters we'll, we need two values from any other pages where that page will be called so if you'll call this page in any other sub pages then also we need to pass from there now here just double click on that and now whatever value you will pass here that will be passed to this page value in this data items right so you can directly pass here number directly the default value or you can take value from your data item so if we'll pass here 10 20 so it means we are passing 10 value to this number one and 20 to number two now what will happen if we'll run this one let me click on a step once you we'll run this now here you can see currently the execution step is on the add and this time value has not been assigned to add page now click on a step and you can see value has been assigned to that variable but this data data item has not been updated because in this startup parameter in the start stage we have written to take value from th this and store in this one so it means we have to click again on the step and then these items will be updated now click step and now you can see here we have taken value from the main page and then this data items have been updated with the default value that we passed here and now we have this value here if we we'll double click on this and you can see we have current value that is 10 we didn't pass initial value this is the current value that we received from main page now if we we'll click next so we'll get addition that is 30 so by this way we can take value from main page to sub page if we'll create one more page here page 2 and if we'll call now i'm saying that this is not about the pain, main page if i'll delete also let's say i'm going to call this this page stage here and i will take this add now set here double click on that and you can see here again it will take it will ask for the value that this add page is accepting these two parameters say so i can pass here two plus three and you can see here now i have to run this one first so now this value will be passed to add let me set next stage click next and you see here now this value will be updated with two and three you can see now two and three and then answer will be five so by this way you can pass from parent to child from from main page to sub page so in the next video we'll talk about how to take input from the control room directly